Okay, so pretty excited. Just received my new Formlabs 2 3D printer. And I'm really excited because this is going to allow me to do some really special things uh, with jewelry. So everything comes in two boxes. I think this is the accessory box, so we'll set this down. And I want to see what's in the big box. And I'm pretty excited. I've been looking at these for a while. And they used to just be so expensive, it just kind of took it right out of the right out of the ballpark of being able to do, but technology has gotten so much better. Like everything, it gets better and the prices come down drastically. So this machine costs about a tenth of what this a, a, a machine not as good as this would have cost five years ago. Oh well, look at this, I'm so excited. Wow, take this, this skin off of here. See what this bad boy looks like. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a sweet? Yeah. So this is a 3D printer. I'm gonna use it in the jewelry business. Uh, when I went online, I can see that a lot of guys are uh, Buying this, a lot of gamers are buying it to make action figures and some cool toys that they can sell uh, that they're making in their CAD systems. And uh, so it'll make it'll make big figures like this. I'm going to be making small little ring figures. So everything should work really, really nice for my purposes. I'm really excited. So let's see in this other box. Let's see what's in there. Up the contents of this other box. Pretty cool. Uh, so it just it comes with a couple of ink cartridges. Let me show you what an ink cartridge looks like. Such good technology because in the olden days you had to actually pour resin out of a vat or out of something like this into a into a uh, into a bowl, and then it fed off of that. But this is all self-feeding. This thing, when I take it off the package, it'll slide right in here and I don't have to touch any resin at all. So it comes with a couple of different resins depending on what I'm doing. It comes with a couple of plat uh, a couple of different platforms for uh, one for one of the resins and one and, the, and another platform for the other resin because you don't want to be mixing those resins. And then this is actually the grow plate. This is where everything will everything will grow right on this plate after I after I get it up and going, this guy will slide on here and then this thing will dip down into the resin and lift out and lift out and lift out and, and grow the piece from the bottom up. Just like that. It's going to be pretty cool. So when I was at the show, Form Labs had this cool little uh, promotional kit in which they give you a couple of uh, different waxes. So this is basically what I'm going to be making. So they give you two of the same one. This is a gray wax that I'll use. And, but this is the castable wax. And this gray is super durable. Customer can try it on. They're not going to break it. This may be, it's pretty durable as well. But uh, this is castable. So this is, this is the important one. So after you make the piece, something that else that came in the big box, and then I'll put it into a, into a bath. Here, so they give you this nice little thing here with this pad, and I'll put uh, I'm going to put isopropyl alcohol in here, and so that'll that'll take a lot of the the tackiness and the stickiness off of the epoxy when it comes out of the machine. So you just sort of put it in here and dip it, rinse it around a little bit, pull it out, and then this would be your second dip, uh, just to do the final little cleanup. And uh, this is a pretty cool little unit. Because it allows it just allows you to keep everything clean. When I pull this off, boom, it's gonna be dripping with resin here. So what'll happen is I'm gonna slide this on here like this. And then I'm gonna be able to hold it while I remove the the piece. I just give you a real nice holder. So these guys really thought of lots of conveniences. Now this is the Form Labs 2. Uh, so it's the second model. The Form Lab 1 did not have some of these cool bells and whistles. After the piece has grown on here, 
Uh, be, this will be full of resin, but there's you kind of have to get in there and scrape it off of there. Uh, they give you a little uh, a little prier. Maybe you have to pry it a little bit to get the corners off. But they kind of give you all the tools. Uh, after the piece is made, it just doesn't grow the ring. It's got to be attached to some to some structure fixtures that that hold it to the plate. And so they give you these nice little clippers that. You, after you get it off of there and after you rinse it in here, then you can get in there and clip off all the little structure uh, things that are that are holding the piece uh, from getting warped uh, or getting out of shape. So again, that's something. These, I'm not sure what these do, but I'm going to figure it out. Anyway, there's my extra access accessories. <laughs>